quando ho incominciato a lavorare con mio padre in zincatura, io sognavo, mi dicevo, ma se io potessi, assurdo, poter immergere la testa nello zinco, prendo gli occhi, cosa vedo? Cosa, cosa potrei vedere? Chiaro, scuro, vedere la vasca, vedere i cristalli di zinco? Ecco, era una cosa che mi ero messo in mente di, 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 di poterci arrivare. In un certo senso ci siamo arrivati, perché noi vediamo praticamente come è la vasca di zincatura immersa nello zinco fuso. There are things we don't see or that we think we can't see. But there are things that our mind can imagine, even if we have never seen them. The space that divides imagination from realization is called innovation. For us, innovation is not being afraid. It's to wake up one morning, you have a vision, and you know it's going to be right, but most of the people around you think you're crazy. And that happened to us when we started with our KID technology. A lot of people were very skeptical and thought it wouldn't work. But innovation for me is to have a vision, believe in the vision, and work very hard to get there, regardless of failures, obstacles, problems. And so I think innovation is most of all courage. One of the favorite games when one is a child is to imagine being something or someone different than what one is and being able to do things that no one can do. It has happened to everyone, being in a group with other children and hearing them say, think about if I was, or think about if I could. Ci siamo detti, penso se ci fosse qualcosa che entra nello zinco fuso e ci dà lo spessore della vasca di zincatura. Questo comporta dei grossi risparmi energetici e anche per lo zincatore perché prima si faceva vuotando la vasca dallo zinco fuso per poter misurare lo spessore. In questo modo si sarebbe potuto evitare lo svuotamento della vasca. The technologies that we use today to deliver services to galvanizers are a mix of old and new. Some of the technologies existed already but we adapted them and we changed them to cater to our services and that would be particularly applicable to the pump out services and the kettle changes services. On the contrary, the very new technology, which is what we use for the kettle inspections, called KID technology, that we invented from scratch. So we created that technology in collaboration with the National Research Council of Canada. So we can say we have invented the kettle inspection device. To innovate is to play an adult's game while thinking like a kid. It is to imagine something that doesn't exist, but you feel there is a need for, something that could change other people's lives, even just a little. To innovate is to imagine all of this, then to put yourself to work, even if this includes a road full of mistakes obstacles and missteps. The absolute worst day in my career so far has been a day in January of 2007. It was the first time that we had brought the kettle inspection technology to the United States so there was a lot of expectation and we had this long tour. It was a long trip with the equipment and a team starting from Houston, Texas and moving across the United States and everybody was very excited. We get on site first day set it up, start working, and in, in about 10 minutes, all of our probes died out on us. So we're stuck in the middle of the United States, it's the first time we do a job, and it doesn't seem to be working. And I'm very worried, and I'm really in shock, because I know that I have four other jobs in the line, and my team is very disoriented. So I remember going back to the hotel and almost giving up, sitting in this very dark room. I didn't even flip on the, the light, and. I was sitting in the dark and thinking, what am I going to do? You know, this thing didn't work and all our hopes and investments in this market are not going to work. And I'm sitting there and there was a voice in my head, which might have been my father's voice probably, that said, you know, stand up and go back to work. And so we went back to work. We worked for 27 hours at night. We reconstructed every single piece of the probes and they worked. 
and after that we went on and did all the tour and on the way to the airport because it's Houston where NASA is there was this little cap in the shop with a sentence a phrase from from NASA from the Apollo 13 mission that said failure is not an option and I thought it was very appropriate to that story but ever since it has become our motto and I'm very proud to say that there has been many days in our jobs where we looked at each other and we said, wait, failure is not an option. This is often why the things we don't see, we are actually only thinking that we don't see them. And sometimes what is needed is a vision and to try imagining. At the end, to innovate is to play imagining the future. Il giorno più eh, significativo di tutta l'attività la, della nostra azienda è stato quando finalmente dopo due anni sono arrivate le prime sonde dal Canada che sembravano quelle definitive, che erano quelle definitive, dopo qualche mese di prova tecniche e non tecniche, di esperimenti perché dovevamo mettere a punto il sistema di raffreddamento e via dicendo, nella nostra officina qui in Italia, io e Mario, Abbiamo immerso la sonda, e questa cosa mi commuove, abbiamo immerso la sonda nello zinco fuso e abbiamo visto il primo segnale bello, limpido e, e, e stupendo, bellissimo. Forse meglio di una bella donna in quel momento. <ride>